I have just spent up to 2000 euros on Bundesliga players for next season and in today's video I will explain why and also how this will work out next season and also go through my plan for the Bundesliga competitions more specifically and of course I have multiple plans and strategies within the grand plan so you will see more videos like this in the near future but this one will be specifically for the Bundesliga I've made some huge signings so yeah let's go through it but first of all if you're brand new to Sora remember to check it out using the affiliate link if you want to use mine the link will be in the description you will get 50 euros after buying five cards and I think now it's arguably the best time to start playing Sora and also invest a little bit because some of the prices out here is just insanely reduced because of the lack of utility for the next month uh, but yeah let's go through everything and as we can see on the screen right here we can see that we have of course the Stuttgart players from last season which we purchased uh, like at the mid to end of last season, uh, where we won some rewards with uh, Dennis Undav, Chris Fyrish, Valmor Anton, Angelo Stiller, Serio Gurassi, Hiroki Ito, and Maximilian Mittelstadt will be the main guys I bought from last season that will be very important for me coming into the next season. And I don't want to talk too much about them in today's video because I've talked about them before. And also Jonas Vin I purchased last season and also Ritsu Duam. So those guys, most of you guys probably know that I have them in my gallery and also that they will be a key part for next season. But now we move on to the more exciting stuff, the new signings and Alexander Nubel is the first one. Yeah, I've talked a lot about him. At the start, when I started watching Stuttgart, I thought he was very bad. He made a lot of mistakes, but he has just grown on me. Like, he has been so good in recent time, especially at the end of last season. I thought he was just superb, and he can get those big scores. And he's a very, very good goalkeeper. He has extended his loan deal at Stuttgart until 2026, which is just wonderful. I bought him for 260 euros. Uh, and yeah, I'm very happy with that. I think his price is around that. Yeah, his price is pretty stable. So that is a purchase I'm really, really happy about and will be a very, very important goalkeeper for me next season. And the next one is a very, very controversial one, especially if you're a Verden Bremen fan, because I've seen so many hating on him over on Twitter. But I thought personally that his scores are way too good to be true. He's a forward which can get you those uh, 40 AA points. And if we just go through some of his scores, we can see that he always puts up good AA games and as you can see a lot of these 65 pointers is actually just from AA. Uh, please, uh, yeah, here we have uh, one of them and um, here we have one good AA game there. Just good AA games after another which is just what you want to see. And uh, yeah, he's also on penalties, he's the captain for their team uh, and he's also on set pieces and he's on most things. Uh, which is very very good and he's like the main man I think for the team and by the looks fit he won't leave either I got him for yeah I made a big trade with uh, Sir his the swap bot so I purchased uh, Reinders which I have sold and also the Pi which I have sold and then I also purchased Marvin Duch and in a big big trade deal here with Petkovic, Peter Musa uh, Ole Selnes and those guys so I'm very happy with that trade and Marvin Duch I will definitely keep and uh, he's a very, very important piece for next season, more in specifically. And yeah, here we also can see Mattis Delict. He will move to Manchester United, most likely. So I will not keep this in mind when it comes to my Bundesliga signings. He is just currently now in Bayern München, so therefore uh, he is here. But therefore I could go to another player, which is now at the Premier League club, but is confirmed to move to the club Mattis Delict is from. Can you guess who it is? It's not other than... Palinja. I have purchased him recently uh, and because he is currently listed as a Fulham player on Sorry, therefore I need to go here over here on Sorry data and show him uh, because I recently purchased him for in like I just pray that this like like what is this like just look at this I purchased him for 87 euros. It was a guy right before me purchased him for 95, and a guy before me, right before there again, bought him for 94. Now Sorer thinks it's fair to list him for 80 euros for instant buy. Like that is something that doesn't make sense to me. Why have I have no idea why they have done that? That is very, very weird in my opinion. I have no idea why they have done that. That is very, very bad. Yeah, okay, so, but let's move on. Uh, I will not get in a bad mood because of that, but still, one very, very positive thing is that he has recently signed to Bayern München. 
which is something I think is really, really nice. I think he will be a very, very important piece. And also the price tag, you don't see too often that Bayern Munich spend that money on new players. But that price sum is really, really exciting. And also with the likes of Elise, it looks like um, Bayern Munich will go big on the transfer market this season and spend a lot of money. And I think Palina will be very nailed. And as you can see, his own fiscal is also really, really good. And yeah, I just hope that uh, sorry I can fix this instant buy thing because I think that is a little bit unfair to especially new managers. Um, but yeah, uh, let's move on to uh, the new players. And if we scroll up a little bit, we can see here that these four players will be the last four. And keep in mind, all together, this is about 2,000 euros. Uh, but like these four in a row here is really, really expensive. Fredrik Rönne, 105 euros, isn't that expensive to keep in mind for a goalkeeper. But I think he is a goalkeeper that I'm not 100% sure of when it comes to him staying at Union Berlin. You can see I have a Union Berlin jersey, but he extended his contract for six months ago. Uh, so especially when it comes to Rönnev and Setterer, I would really appreciate it if some of you guys that are fans from that team know if they will be nailed next season and also if they will stay next season. I'm pretty sure that both will stay, but I'm not as sure if they will be as nailed as they were this season. And in specifically, Rönnev I think is a very, very underrated goalkeeper. Yeah, he can get to those peak scores and when you knew Malin are in good form, he normally tends to get a lot of good scores. One really, really bad thing is when, for example, Union Berlin is just very, very bad. You can see he can get those really, really bad scores and ruin your team. But I believe that Union Berlin will be a lot better this season. And, uh, like, of course, that isn't too much to ask for because they were really, really bad last season, especially at the start of the season. Uh, and yeah, here instant buy is correct price. That is what instant buy should be a lot higher than the last sales. So here, sorry, I've actually done a good job. I just wanted to check that out. And the next one will be Mikael Setterer, which is also a goalkeeper I really, really fancy. And I watched a lot of highlights from him from him and also uh, listen to a lot of uh, Werden Bremen fans. And one thing I also really, really like is that he concedes very often one goal, one goal, two goals, uh, zero goals, one goal. Like he concedes a lot of one goals, which means that that reflects very, very hugely on his score. So let's say he didn't concede that one goal, this 55 pointer would have been an 80 pointer. And of course you can say that with um, which goalkeeper you want, but more in specifically with Mati uh, Mikael Setterer, he has been really unlucky with conceding goals when he could have been on like an 80-90 pointer and that is often late in the game, very very unlucky and unfortunate goals to concede and of course I think that will change next season and this isn't a permanent thing that one goal is unlucky and etc. This is just of course temporary and I thought uh, it was very, very unusual that so many wrestles was only one goal against and he played a very very good match. So let's say if they are get a little bit more lucky next season, that could be 80 pointer instead of 55 pointer. And of course, that goal isn't that uh, big of a difference when it came to their um, finish this season. And also that won't reflect on him getting dropped either next season, I think. And I've also heard that they have signed a new third goalkeeper, so they are setting in on actually settling with Mikael Setterer and the 20 year old. So I'm just wondering, if you think he will stay behind uh, or stay between the sticks for the next season and if he is as nailed as I personally think he is. And uh, this one is a little bit of risk when I think I purchased him for uh, 130 euros, which is a little bit more than I uh, usually feel comfortable with purchasing players that I'm not 100% sure of and also have the most knowledge in. But I think next season, Werden Bremen will be a lot better. So yeah. Uh, and the next two will also just be to get uh, the collection bonus and also uh, players that is a little bit underrated in my opinion. Marco Friedel, a player that I purchased for 20 euros. And I think in terms of his scores, he have those peak scores in him and he will be a backup. He will not be the main man for me because he is uh, like a yo-yo. He is like up and down, up and down and I won't consistently rely on him. But when he has good features, I may use him. And the next one is Roman Schmid, really, really underrated player, and I just hope that he can get uh, his AA score uh, on track, because then he could be a really, really important piece for me next season. But at the moment, his AA isn't that good, so he will most likely be a third or second choice player. Um, and therefore, when I talk about uh, first, second and third choice, I have actually done, gone out there and made a full spreadsheet when it comes to 
uh, how this will look next season. And now let's just scroll over here, and here we can see Bundesliga. I won't show the other ones because this video is specifically about the Bundesliga, and also because I haven't made a full plan on the other regions when it comes to Premier League, uh, La Liga, and also Champion, and also Challenger, and maybe also under 23. I haven't started. Uh, I'm still on the working process with that as well. But as you can see here, I'm really, really excited about this. And in the goalkeeper positions, as I said, we have Alexander Nubel, Mikael Setterer, and also Rennev. And the positioning is uh, from best to worst. So Nubel, in many of the cases, will be my first choice goalkeeper and most likely will play in the highest division. Setterer will play in the second division or the second highest division. And uh, Rennev will play in the third highest. And that is just currently how I think uh, I will line them up for next season. And of course, uh, you can argue that I need to sign more players here, and of course I'm working on that. I think I need at least one, two or three more Bundesliga players, uh, just to fulfill if some players get injured or something, but those players won't be that expensive and that relevant for next season. Uh, and yeah, in defense we will have Mittelstadt, Valdemar Anton, Hiroki Ito and also Friedel. Uh, one really uh, interesting thing is that I just hope Mittelstadt stays. And uh, Valmor Anton and also Hiroki Ito has made a move, so that uh, I may need even more centre-backs or defenders if uh, they aren't nailed for their new club, but I think Valmor Anton at Dortmund will be very, very nailed, and I also think Hiroki Ito will not be as nailed, but I think he will get a good sum of time at Bayern München. And also Friedel will, more, uh, will be more of a backup, so uh, here in the defence I have also made a free space, I need another player there. So please make sure to leave in the comments, is there any Bundesliga players you think I should personally purchase? That would mean a lot. And when we move to the midfield, I think uh, Angelo Stiller will be my first choice or my priority player to play here week in and week out, because I thought he was so good uh, last season. He was on set pieces and uh, got a lot of tackles, duels, one interception, etc. And he, we know Hernes loves him, so he will be very, very important next season. Rizzo Duan, I just hope that he stays in the Bundesliga. If he does, he will be a very, very important part, but that is what I'm talking about. If Rizzo Duan leaves, I need another purchase there in midfield, more in specifically. And therefore, we are also gone for Jao Palinja, as I said, really, really exciting that he will move to Bayern München. So he will also be a very, very important piece for next season. The same with Chris Fierich. I just hope that he can nail down his starter spot at Stuttgart because he had a pretty, pretty bad end of last season, in my opinion, he weren't that good. And Roman Schmid is also a little bit of a backup, but also a player that could be really important if he can get up his AA performances. And uh, the last uh, forwards will be Grassi, Dennis Undav, Marvin Dux and also Jonas Vinn. I have talked about Marvin Dux and I haven't talked about uh, the three others actually in today's video. I can talk very, very quickly about them. Seru Grassi I think will be really, really important for Dortmund next season. They have spent a lot on, a lot on him. One really, really bad thing is that Fulkrug is still at Dortmund and also uh, uh, Haller. So there will be a lot of competition there, but I think personally Grassi will just uh, outperform them by a mile. And I just also hope that Dennis Undav stays at Stuttgart, because that would be huge. Then he would be the main man, he would most likely be on penalties, set pieces, uh, or I mean more specifically free kicks. And I just hope that he stays at Stuttgart, that would be really nice, and uh, if he does that, this could be a huge uh, forward stack for next season. And then we have Jonas Vinn which were very, very good in the first game in the Euros for Denmark, and then he f fell off, in my opinion, at the um, end of the tournament. And also at uh, Wolfsburg, when I watched him, he wasn't that good. I just hope that he can pick up his form for Wolfsburg uh, next season, because they have now a new manager. I think he has signed on a permanent deal, so that will be very, very interesting to look out for. But at the moment, he's the for fourth choice forward for me. Uh, but yeah, that was today's video. Leave in the comments of what do you think about these new signings, and also, is it risky to go as big as I've done in the Bundesliga? Me personally don't think so, but I would really appreciate to hear your guys' thoughts. But for now, my name has been Salve, and I'll catch you next one. Bye bye and take care. Peace.